Hey friends, welcome to the part 18. We are looking at some of the real certification questions for Certified Developer Associate. Today we will look at questions linked with these three topics. If you have not subscribed yet, please subscribe and click the join button. Join button will enable you access, unlimited access to so many certification related questions and knowledge contents. Let us look at this question. By the way, I have also posted some health tips. So if you are preparing for certifications and you are already in a job, so it is very stressful to stretch and prepare for certifications. Try to follow those health tips. It will help you in the long run. So this question is all about, you know, like you have used these many technologies to construct an on-premise application. Now you want to put this on AWS cloud. The question is about which services you would use. See, if I see these options, the my first instinct tells me to go to EC2 because on EC2 I can uh, put a Linux. I can you know have a EC2 instance on a Linux system, and I can have Apache and PHP there, and then I can have. Uh, this you know MySQL. You see this MySQL. I can put it on Aurora because MySQL is a SQL database. And if I see options for SQL databases, Aurora would suffice. Now, one thing we should note is Dynamo DB. Uh, this won't work here. The reason is we are looking for SQL based database DynamoDB is a no SQL database it is a high performance database so I would strike out this option now if you look at ECS this is all about you know containerization if you have containerized application then you can use this we don't have any requirement for containers so this is wrong plus it is making use of EBS. So a uh, SQL database can be put on EC2, but it cannot be put solely on EBS. It's just a storage or a block storage. So this is wrong. Now let us look at D. D is making use of RDS to store SQL database, which is fine. But it is also making use of Cognito. Cognito is a identity and access management solution. You cannot you cannot put Linux, Apache, and PHP on Cognito. Then the last one says use S3. So you do not put a database on S3, first of all. So that's wrong. And then it says to use API Gateway. So if you have applications which uses a lot of API, then you use API gateway for better management of such applications. So, do you have any mention of API in this question? No, it is not mentioning that. So, this is wrong as well. I would strike this out. So, this would be my final answer. By the way, I have posted a video which is on staying fit and building a strong immune system do uh, go through that that will help you understand how you can make your immune system stronger now there is another question on 400 so what is the story all about so there is a guy he is calling cloudwatch apis and the purpose of cloudwatch is to publish monitor metrics and when this guy is calling the api he is getting a 400 throttling exception error now there is a whole blog on how to avoid throttling issues you can have a read so we need to provide a remediation to this issue what should we do so whenever they get this error this guy when he gets this error that is the time when the call is also not successful and he receives no data. 
so one thing always remember when you have to solve this is a thumb rule when you want to solve such errors you should plug a retry with an exponential back off exponential back off means you would wait longer if, like once it fails you get this error okay so you would retry it you you would automatically so whenever we build such applications we by default put retries so that if it fails once then it will resubmit again in the api world this is a knob okay and if you have to resubmit suppose it fails in three seconds do not retry every three seconds what exponential backup does is you can retry after a longer span maybe 10 seconds 15 seconds and so on so that uh, if anything was messed up in those five seconds for example network packets and or so on uh, maybe in 10 seconds it would get resolved so the next time when you submit uh, resubmit retries after 15 seconds it would work so this is my answer see this is wrong because we are not going to contact the support to increase the limit this is not a problem with any sort of limits okay and then b says you use cli to get the metrics so there are multi multiple ways to get the metrics you can do it gui based cli based api based so it does not mean that uh, if if using a car i'm going from point a to b if the car tire gets flat i would fix that car tire i would not take a bike or a train or a bus to you know go from point a to b i would not change my solution i would work and fix that solution and option c says analyze the applications and remove the api call so api call you cannot re remove right because you need this call to get the metrics from the cloudwatch apis you need this call so this would be my final answer so there is a guy he is developing event handling system and this guy is using sqs so sqs is a message queuing system okay and it is serverless and the data is processed asynchronously now what happens is when the testing is being done the quality assurance programs are being run they see some sort of duplication like some events handled several times now how should we fix it now option a says if you are, you are making use of long pole convert to short pole so there are two ways of receiving the messages you can short pole or you can long pole so short pole will look for messages on subset of servers and long pole will look for messages on all servers so all servers was better right but if you are making it only few subset so that is not helpful in this case so we would strike this out just because you are looking for messages on all servers or you are looking for messages only on a few servers this does not guarantee that duplication would not occur so let us look at option b this says you make use of fifo what it does is it's first in and first out and where should you use it these are the scenarios like online ticketing system like people who book the tickets first should get the tickets first first come first serve or you for example e-commerce mm -hmm. order management where the order is critical it has to flow in that queue people who ordered first should get the product first and then it is saying to configure deduplication so this is what deduplication does it associates deduplication id and if the same id was sent it will not send it again in that duration of five minute and the deduplication it applies to the entire queue not just individual message groups so this would solve our problem because we are having a problem with duplication the first thing it does is event handling the events which happened first will get alerted first so that is what fifo does and then 
in order to avoid duplication you configure deduplication so based on the deduplication id it would not send the same message again now option c it says convert standard sqs queue to fifo queue that is fine so what will happen is the events will get an order the events which occurred first will be alerted first but then this option is not answering how will the problem of duplication get addressed that's why it is wrong and d said says send the messages with message timers the timers are used to specify invisibility period for a message so if you are sending a message with 45 second timer the message will be invisible not visible invisible to the consumer for the first 45 seconds in the queue Sometimes there is a requirement where we want to delay the consumption by certain time period. So if the message is not visible, it does not mean that message cannot be duplicated, right? So this is wrong. So this is my final answer. So friends, if you have not subscribed yet, please hit the subscribe button. It will help you get alerts in time on any of the cloud certification content questions knowledge base that i am posting do not forget to hit the join button below this video that will help you with a small premium you can gain access to unlimited questions and knowledge base around cloud certifications please remember this channel is dedicated to aws azure and gcp cloud certifications this brings us to the end of part 18 we covered questions linked with these three topics see you in the next part